Last night, parents of students at Greenwood Hills Elementary School in Richardson ISD voiced their concerns over the district's plan to shut down five schools. Yeah, it was the first night of what is called a listening tour, and that's going to be where parents can hear from district superintendent about the reason for the closures, including the budget cuts and declining student enrollment. But there's also some some voice being voice, voices of concerns being voiced from parents as well. You know, our Nick Starling is following the story, and Nick. Parents obviously not happy at all with this plan. Good morning. Yeah, not at all. We're live outside Richardson ISD headquarters where district leaders have a lot of big decisions in the coming weeks as they have to figure out a nearly $29 million budget shortfall. And one of the options is to close down five schools. And a lot of parents aren't happy about this. Take a look at the meeting that happened last night. Parents got a chance to listen to the district's plan, which is called Project Right Size, to close five schools. Four of them elementary campuses, Greenwood Hills, Spring Ridge, Spring Valley, and Thurgood Marshall. One preschool is also slated to close down, Dobie Pre-K. All due to budget constraints, the, 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 the district says that will save about $11 million per year in operating costs. The district says since the pandemic, enrollment has been shrinking, and Richardson ISD has more than 9,000 empty seats in its elementary schools and project that number to grow to 12,000 seats. Last night, parents tell us they understand needing to balance the budget, but they don't understand why school consolidation is the right option. My severely autistic child who does not like change is now going to have to deal with her friends leaving. Whether it's reading the cards or our emails or the various Let's Talk submissions we have, I've absolutely heard the voice of our parents and I know the hurt that they're feeling, the emotion that they're feeling. And so there are four more listening sessions. The next one takes place tonight for those impacted at Spring Ridge Elementary School. That will take place at Berkner High School from 6 o'clock to 7.30 tonight. And the other three will have information on those on our website at cbsnewstexas.com. Live in Richardson, Nick Starling, CBS News, Texas. Yeah, definitely a, a change is coming, and a change is coming quickly. And obviously parents are voicing their concerns. and. Some are not too happy. Nick, thanks so much.